So when I've criticized George Soros for damage I believe he has done to my country by the things that he's contributed to, by the damage he's done to countries yearning to be free in Europe as he has pushed them towards socialism. Why would a billionaire push people towards socialism? Because socialism means everybody is treated equally. It's because he knows that in a socialist country, you eliminate the middle class and what you're left with is a very thin veneer of a ruling class and everybody else who is ruled over by the ruling class. That's where socialism goes. And some billionaires think, oh, they'll be there in the, that, high, that tiny little ruling class, not understanding that historically, if you go to full bore socialism or communism, you're gonna end up killing off the billionaires taking their money. So it's amazing thing to see that. I'm also aware that even Israel's defense ministry has pointed out the damage that George Soros has done to Israel. And because I've criticized George Soros, people say, oh, you're anti-Semitic. It's not anti-Semitic to criticize somebody for things they've done things they're paying for, things they're contributing to just because they happen to be Jewish. What makes it anti-Semitic is when you slander or libel an entire race or group of people and smear them as all having the same characteristics and belittle them as a group. So, There was a resolution that was supposed to address specific anti-Semitic remarks by a member of Congress. And then we hear, well, there was protests because they didn't want her condemned for anti-Semitic remarks. So it got watered down. And I got ready to come over to the floor to I printed out the copy of the bill as it was at three o'clock that afternoon. I came over here ready to speak against that bill because it had been so watered down. And I was told, well, actually that one got pulled and they watered it down even further. And here's the new one as of about 3.20 that afternoon. Kept being watered down till it basically were against all kinds of hate um, of course, they didn't mention the kind of political hate that would cause a Democrat. And if, if it had been a Republican who so supported Donald Trump, that would have been what everybody talked about. Oh, gosh, that's what Trump inspires. But since it was a Bernie Sanders supporter, I don't know of any Republican, including me, who has, has uh, blamed Bernie Sanders for the criminal that shot Steve Scalise and tried to kill my baseball friends, colleagues. He, he wanted to kill them all. But that wasn't singled out. And in fact, when we were taking testimony on gun crime in judiciary, the majority would not even allow Steve Scalise to testify. We are told, oh, well, if he comes in and testifies, it might open the door to all kinds of other members of Congress. Well, why don't you just say, we'll restrict the testimony from members of Congress to those who've been shot by somebody who hates them and their party. How about that? But Steve was not even allowed to come testify before our committee. And... That kind of thing was not mentioned in what was basically, we're against all kinds of hate except for that. And we're also not going to call out the hate that causes the hate hoaxes, which there seem to be a rash of people saying they're the victim of some hate 
when actually it's their hate that created a hoax. But I have made loud and clear, repetitiously, the reason I and 22 others voted against that bill was because it did not do what it should have done, and that is call out specific anti-Semitic comments. Now, some were bothered that I said that there is no moral equivalence between the Holocaust and, say, the years of slavery. The slavery that is continuing today. I was shocked to find out this year, 40 million slaves in, in the world today, more than any time in history. We ought to do all we can to stop it. It is horrendous. It did so much damage to the core of this country for far too long. But there is a special hatred that the Jewish people have experienced that we need to stop when it starts. And for those morons that didn't know, I voted against the first anti-hate resolution. And with that, I yield back. Does the gentleman from Texas have a motion? Uh, anybody else coming? Pardon? I move we adjourn.